Hi everybody. It's February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day to you. My remarks concerning Groundhog Day are coming to you on behalf of Fluttershy. That's Allie. She asked me to make a video about Groundhog Day. We have in southern Ontario a little town called Wyerton and a groundhog or a woodchuck as they are also known, lives in Wyerton. Wyerton is about two and a half to three hours north of where I live. He's an albino woodchuck or groundhog and he's quite famous. I will attach a picture here. Now, Wyerton Willie predicts the weather every February 2nd, and will do so until he dies, his untimely death, whenever that's going to be. Every February 2nd, he predicts the weather. 37% of the time, he's correct. Did you know groundhogs have 22 teeth? Did you know that the first official Groundhog Day was February 2nd, 1886? There's also a groundhog in the United States called Puxatawney Phil, and a movie was made about Puxatawney Phil. Puxatawney Phil? Correct me if I'm wrong. And Bill, I can't remember his name, was in it. I thought it was an amusing movie, Groundhog Day. Did you see it? Anyway, that's enough of Groundhog Day. I've had enough of that. Here, it's snowing. We got our blizzard, but not nearly as badly as the media said that we were going to get. We got approximately, I would say, four inches of snow. It's cold. It's still snowing. Maybe we'll get more. But they closed the schools today for no reason. They closed them yesterday before we even had the storm. Bunch of hysterics, I just have to say. I have to show you something. I've been meaning to show you this for a while. Look at this thing. It's a dice made out of paper. I downloaded it. Guess where? Off of the Moleskine website. It's a dice. You're supposed to roll it, and when you do, read what it says. And uh, there, it's got little things that are printed, pre-printed on there. I didn't print that. It says there, try a new recipe and post it on your blog. I don't have a blog. The thing that's interesting is that I cut this all out and folded it and glued it, and I was amazed with that thing. I know, I know. Little things, small minds. For me, there's no such link. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Like this is another one that I did on harder paper. And you cut it all out, and then you fold all these edges. Look at it. And it makes a ball. That's enough of that. This is a tennis elbow or epicondylitis brace. I have one. I used to have trouble with my epicondylitis. No, it'd be the epicondyli. <laughs> I made that up. I had epicondylitis in my elbow, this one. And here is the plug that goes in there. Do you have that in your brace, Beth? This plug is supposed to press against the nerve, median nerve, in your arm here, if you can see. <sighs> I don't have it anymore, thank the sweet Lord. What else do I have to tell you? told you about Pucks of Tawny Phil and Wyerton Willie. I told you about all of the things that I researched about Groundhog Day. I told you about the snow and the hysterical media. I told you about the moleskin ball thing. I showed you the thing for Beth. I think that that's it. I just wanted to pop by and say hello again. 
Thanks for giving me the nudge, Fluttershy, Allie. That's it, that's all.